Hey everyone, uh, Damien Dudovic here from the Intertuminator once more. Bring you a... There we go. I bring you a 4 vs 4 Men of War game. And yeah, as you can see, this time it's on the map countryside that everyone loves so much. So yeah, we're actually playing as the um, Japanese and we're playing against the USSR. So that's the uh, teams, basically. Hmm, not bad. So yeah, I actually played as... Um, Japan versus uh, USSR on this map before. There was a sky doing anyway. Um, but the problem, of course, is that um, ended up with loads of guys dropping, which kind of uh, wasn't too good at all. So yeah, we just uh, hopefully that won't happen this time. Yeah, in fact, it's kind of funny, really. We ended up in a bit of a uh, mid-range artillery battle, which you don't normally see unless if it's maybe a Japanese versus Japanese. Uh, Mirror or something. Yeah, there you go. Nonetheless, that's what happens. And it looks like my tank men are going to run into a bit of trouble. Yeah, they managed to take out some troops, though, so that's pretty good. And yeah, we are capturing the middle at the moment, so we do have the uh, advantage. So it's four guys, fifth. Oh, that's right, the six is back here. Might just send them forward. So just move one of our guys, oh crap, he's about to get killed off actually, I might just move him back, hopefully he might be able to even survive that. So yeah, pretty ferocious um, battle in the, uh, for the middle indeed. So speaking of which, I wonder if I, maybe I should just try to do a bit of a uh, flank attack with a vehicle or something. So it couldn't hurt. We'll just um, get rid of these SMG guys first, and then... Oh. There we go. Now I might, might just do a quick uh, vehicle attack. So just see if maybe we can capture a few points. There we go. See, so yeah, I might just start from the uh, right, actually. <coughs> yeah, what do you know? This guy's still alive. Well, we've got a ZSU 37, so that's going to make a mincemeat out of the crappy uh, Japanese light tanks. Should come thinking, what the hell hasn't this thing moved? There we go. So just send a SMG guy up and. Will he be able to make the shot? Nope, of course not. And down he goes. Wow. Oh well. Okay. Maybe. Just suggesting we should repair that. And yeah, I suppose we'll just send our uh, guys here and yeah, we'll send these guys forward. Perfect. Ah, great. They managed to get the engine. Alright, then looks like we're going to be. Uh, our vehicle's going to be. Oh no, it's actually going to be on fire. Great. So I don't think it's gonna. Well, actually, might not be destroyed. There we go. And just save this. Uh, oh, it's a soldier actually. Oh, what the hell? I should save him at the very least. Wow. Did that? Oh, okay. Good. He's actually. Dead there. So yeah, we're still managing to hold the line, and oh, what the hell? I might just um, put this guy in a bit more of a forward position, actually. <coughs> so we have is this two here, and aim at M37. Huh, interesting. Okay, we'll just leave there for now, I guess. We've got marines trying to cause some trouble, actually. Or space marines, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah, this guy's going to be in a bit of trouble. Down he goes. Oh, well, screw it. 
What's this? Type 47, a light AT gun. What are they doing, I wonder? Well, anyways, got some trouble on the left and on the middle flanks. Just, uh... See if we can repel attack on the middle first. Of course, didn't get the guy with that first grenade. Should we have to get him the second one? Yeah, ah, there we go. Yeah, down he goes. So, looks like they should be able to hold... Yeah, they should be able to hold themselves on the uh, left there. So what I'll do is... Now oh, what they like, I guess I could just... Uh, Keep my guys around here for now. Oh. Is this, those this guns are going to be a pain in the ass, to say the least. Oh, well, so yeah, we'll just hold our guys here and might just save up. <coughs> Man, they've got a few things shooting at us, actually. <clears throat> Just tell my guy to, or tell my ally to repair that Shinyu. Ah, okay. And yeah, at the same time, I just send in an AT gun towards this uh, flank point. Oh my god, really? Wow, that's pretty bad to say the least. Alright, then looks like I won't be able to afford. Saving up to anything, so... Ah, there we go. Might be able to kill this guy. They... Oh my god, of course not. And of course my guys are about to go for a bit of a swim there. Wow. There we go. Finally managed to get the hull. Wow, they're actually sending their tank pretty forward. We'll see. We'll certainly need another squad of SMG guys, but if we can distract him for long enough, and of course get him to reveal himself. We might just have a chance retaking the middle relatively quickly. Speaking of which, this guy hiding in here. I'll just mention that to him. To my ally, that is. So we should actually be in a good position. Always oh, moving his tank back. It certainly wouldn't be a better time to hit him than now. There we go. Managed to hull crush him. I'm not sure what he means, said no guy, or no noob in there, but um, I clearly saw someone in there. Oh well, whatever. Better send in our guys forward actually, before they, uh, just over, before the uh, Russians overrun us. Oh yeah, that's right, I was just like, that. okay, well, I guess I misunderstood in there. Wow, so we've still got pretty sizable amounts of infantry there. Just speaking which might just uh, get them to spread out a bit so that they're uh, not all just behind each other and unable to fire. So yeah, apparently still got trouble there though. And I think there was a grenade there, I couldn't quite tell. Jesus, this is rather <laughs> slow going into this space. But then again, we are just going with infantry. Whoops. Come on, throw the damn grenade. There we go. Wow, we actually managed to survive that? Amazing. Okay, then better send in another squad of infantry guys. Wow, pretty heavy losses on the uh, middle to say list. Yeah, at the very least our AT gun is in position and should be hidden away, so... Wow. Hopefully it uh, won't get spotted until we actually fire with it. Damn it, down it 
go, of course. Oh well. <clears throat> and of course, got a nice little mortar there. So I might just wait for um. Oh, they got their own mortar, but uh, yeah, I might just wait to get a uh, ho row maybe. Then I'll start shelling the crap out of their points. Oh, speaking of which, I might be able to destroy their um. T thirty four. There we go. We should have done that before, actually. Oh well. And there goes that. Looks like we got a ZIS 2 firing, so. Just, uh, yeah, we should be able to target it easily from there. Uh, of course, now it decides to. Keep missing. Come on, I managed to crawl a bit. There we go, finally. So yeah, pretty good use of uh, this AT gun. It certainly paid for itself. Wow, actually. Just tell him to watch that, and I think we just missed a, an opportunity to destroy a vehicle there. Ah, no, it's gone ready, so we'll just uh, reorient our guy here. Ah, great, we're losing the middle. Again, so we'll just send in a couple more uh, infantry guys. Wow. So what was that? I think. Actually, I don't know what the hell that was. Where the hell is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Don't know why I can't target him, man. There we go. Took care of him last time. <clears throat> yeah, we we'll just move our guys slowly forward as well. I'll just put our guys into craters though, in case they decide to shell the crap out of this point. Like, like so. <laughs> Except they didn't have the. Uh, Chance to move down, of course. There we go. Let's <coughs> just ask if they need any help there. Oh, wait a minute, do we have a mortar there? Wow. Okay, screw it up. Oh, actually, 20 points to a heart, though. Damn it, that is tempting. The hell will destroy this, um, AT gun singers, they're going to just keep on ambushing. Well. Actually, I'm pretty sure that was whole crushed. How could they repair it so quickly though? Wow, oh, it's kinda of ridiculous. So they're using the two hundred millimeter rocket against it, but yeah, whenever I've used it I found it to be pretty disappointing. I mean look at that. It hit near this tank and it didn't do any damage if you saw the um actually I've seen direct hits on medium tanks not doing any damage. But yeah if you saw a uh Hato, for example hitting even near a heavy tank and be able to destroy it with uh, relative ease. So I'm not entirely sure why he's not sending a guy here. I mean, points are now going to be tired. Okay, screw it, send our own how to. Really? 
And of course now I've got infantry coming in, so don't I... What the hell? He's got tankmen, really. Got tankmen on that point. I don't know if that's what he meant by uh, trying to capture it. Okay, we better send in this uh, how to a little bit closer to say the least. And of course, yeah, now I've got a whole bunch of infantry to worry about. Supports, but anyway. Got a whole bunch of infantry to worry about on the uh, left here. Oh, what do you know? They finally managed to ca capture this. Oh, what the hell? We'll send in one shell just to. Destroy their cover. And we'll kill a few guys as well. Actually, come to think of them, I might as well make sure. What do we Oh, we've got another tank, of course. Uh, really? I suppose we could destroy this this too. It doesn't cause any more trouble. And of course we're losing the mid. Right, this guy sh oh no he hasn't shot it right. Not yet. Wow, it's quite a few infantry heading towards the left actually. And of course I missed where his damn this two was, so we better send the how to back until we can find it. We don't need all these guys on it either. Might just take them off. Because there's a problem with Hato as well. It's actually a pretty nice artillery piece, but uh, my god, it takes a crap load of uh, command points because yeah, it's got all those soldiers in it. And of course, the guy won't move up at all. There we go. Okay, so... oh, now it's certainly in range of that tank, but it's moving, so... Wait for it to stop moving first, and then we might fire off another shell at it, so we should be able to hit it then. Because this thing's incredibly inaccurate, but, um... It's accuracy just gets crappier. And crappier, especially when you go for, um... Wow, for moving targets, looks like they actually, um... Just kept on moving up. Oh, SU 122, of course. Wait a minute. Oh. Wow. Thankfully, we got more infantry where they came from. There we go. And a couple of stragglers down here for whatever reason. So the moment, I don't have too much of a target for this Hato, so I might just send it back, actually. <coughs> yeah, we're doing pretty well at the moment, and as you can see, of course, we've got a guy who might actually drop. So just hopefully pause, and hopefully he won't drop. <coughs> see more, so I suppose oh, it's on, on their team, of course. Well, we'll see if we can continue the game, because chances are we're probably going to win. Um, and we've been consistently holding these points for so long, and yeah, of course, there goes Mozart. Wow. Oh, here we go. We got this two we can aim at. Just out of range, but there we go. Managed to get it, somehow without destroying any... <laughs> okay, managed to kill off its crew as well. Oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, should I just uh, bring up these guys into the craters as well? Uh, 
So yeah, it's rather unfortunate that one of their guys had to lag out, but of course that's the nature of this game. Speaking of which, T3485 versus Cheeto. Yeah, I'd say it could go either way, really. Oh, what do we have here? We've got an SU-122. See if we can uh, maybe score some hits off on this. Wow. Wow, that thing's getting ridiculously close. I'll just indicate this on the map. Wow, so I managed to do track it. But yeah, thankfully Milo was there to provide some much needed support. Got a couple of infantry guys trying to sneak past as well. Just screw it, I might just try another um, light vehicle rush. of guys out, just so we can fill them up with tank men, just so we can actually drive it around without losing any soldiers or anything. Oh, wait a minute, we've got a ZIS-30 here. And given that the uh, left is still hotly contested, might just uh, send this uh, vehicle over to the left first. I mean to the right first, shall I say. So we'll just send this guy over. A little bit closer, it seems. Oh, actually, it holds the holds the stride. All right, then we would just send this guy back, I suppose. Wow. Ah, stop that. <laughs> Ruffle car, right? Not bad. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, of course we've got a couple of guys here. Damn it, of course, there. Yeah. Oh well, screw it. Oh, we've got a KV-1, now that'll be a nice juicy target to kill for this uh, Hato, if we can actually manage to do it. I don't know if I track it and contuse it, I suppose. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I guess we could just send our guys up to these uh, rather well placed sandbags. <coughs> and there you go, Cheetos destroyed their KV1. Rather unfortunate for them, but that's what can you do. Now, I've got quite a few dead tanks here, actually. Those asks. So if they want to repair that first. And what do we have here? We've got uh, there's this two here, my mom's just let them know, and of course there's this over here. Wait a minute, can this thing capture points? Oh no no, they got an SMG infantry there, no wonder. So this guy's about to be restocked on uh, or rather he's about to reload, I'm pretty sure, so. Just send them towards the uh, left there, might be able to score some hits on that Zis. Yeah, I've got an infantry unit around here somewhere, I didn't quite see where though. Well, I should think I might just shell around here just in case if they... Uh, trying to repair or anything. Okay, I managed to get the KV-1 at least, but the Cheeto might still be a bit... or rather they might still be repairing it. <laughs> oh, not bad, it's a little flamethrower tank got uh, destroyed, unfortunately. Should they repairing it? No, they're not. 
Uh, speaking of which, I might just spawn in another squad of SMG guys, maybe do a slow advance on the left at the very least to destroy that uh, uh, cheat fight. Yeah, it seems a bit uneventful at the moment. Um, I mean, sure, they're down one guy, but <coughs> there's certainly no reason for them to get uh, complacent. Because, yeah, I remember there have been a couple of games, uh, sometimes uh, without me even noticing, actually, where we were playing with a uh, one man down, and we still managed to turn them into wins. I mean, they were, God knows they were certainly much harder, but. Yeah. What the hell, still managed to make it work, so. That's what counts. <coughs> Oh, what do we know? Have, might have some aggression here. And oh, it's B811, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, right, then, so we finally made it to the left. What's this? Oh, it's a rifleman, of course. I just zoom in a bit on the action there. Oh, they're building sandbags, doing the good old, um, <laughs> that. Doing the good old sandbag creep. I think I'll probably be. Wouldn't do too bad if we tried to do something like that. <coughs> oh, we've got 18 mines around here, so. Watch out for any uh, sort of AT mines. Ah, there we go, this is two. Have to watch out for any sort of uh, AT mines they might be able to plant there. And of course, there goes, this is two. Well, then I guess we'll just leave our how to here for now. I'm not entirely sure what uh, caused a slowdown all of a sudden. And there we go, just continue this uh, slow advance. Wow, according to this, we're getting 12 frames a second, wow. Oh, there we go, it's improving a little bit now. Should better heal this guy up. Yeah, there we go, I might just make it to the, uh, the Cheeto tank. Nice Cheetos in it and all that. Ah, oh, screw it, we'll sprint this guy up to it. Ah, okay, they've got, uh, they've got AP mines around there too. Just dandy. Now what the hell, I might as well take all this crap out in case they try to repair it. Actually, I wonder if I should send... Yeah, actually, what the hell, I might just send in a minesweeper. This would be about the first time I've actually used it for minesweeping as well as... Uh, as well as it's flamers, but anyway. Something. Since, yeah, those AT mines are certainly going to be rather troublesome, so. What better to uh, sweep the mines in some tank armed with uh, crap loads of flamethrowers? Jesus, this thing's slow. Oh, actually, looks like we've got a guy there. Yeah, we can just barely reach him. Now, it's a flamethrower, of course. Well, at least we managed to throw the grenade before he uh, got killed. Wow. This thing's actually... Oh, okay, it's a relatively shallow um, lake, so I guess it's not too bad. Wow, I'm surprised I just went through that water like that, though. <coughs> oh, well, there you go. Sprites every day, eh? Finally, the minesweeper's made it to the left. Let's see if we can actually uh, cover any sorts of mines. So this is rather unfortunate. We'll be uh, stuck here at the moment. So, I'm not entirely sure if we run out of, mi of mines or something, because both of its tracks are gone, which um, normally wouldn't happen. 
And it looks like they're revealing the scout, whatever reason. Oh, I just mentioned that. Oh, he seems to notice actually. Actually, right in engine 2. Quite a bit in danger actually. There we go, looks like the minesweeper's finished repairing. So I guess we'll just uh, continue on our merry way. <laughs> oh my god, how could he not kill him, really? There we go, finally got him. Just can't think of this. Oh, strange, it didn't seem to want to go over the fences for whatever reason. Apparently got some miners here. Oh, and is this 30 actually? That's looking too good. <laughs> oh well, Lister went out with a bang and I think. Yeah, given those little miniature little burns in the ground, I think it managed to take out a couple of mines. Or maybe there was something else. Huh. Oh well. Well this guy's about to cark it. Oh, no, I know it's not. You might just live to fight another day. <coughs> yeah, let's see. I suppose we could try another light vehicle rush, but chances are it probably won't work so well. Oh, wait a minute, we've got something here. Didn't quite see what that was, though. Might have been a mortar, actually. Wow, quite a bit of firepower concentrated there. Actually, I just move up my Harto just to help destroy a bit of this building. In case if they're trying to use it for cover or something like that. Yeah, we've got a good guy there, but we should be alright. There we go. Water away. <laughs> Indeed. Let's just send it back here. Oh, there we go. We just barely managed to catch the explosion. So yeah, it's managed to take a pretty fair chunk of the building, but its walls are still remaining, so troops and all that can still use it for cover. <coughs> wow, quite a few tanks there. So it looks like I don't think Ryder's in trouble, but I might just send a couple of tank men just to See how much we can actually salvage. And what the hell, I might just send another minesweeper as well. Ah, oh, I didn't notice that actually. <laughs> yes, oh, I'll call Damien, not bad. Oh, what do you know? We're actually, um... A cap left. In a bit of trouble here. So, what can we salvage? Not much, since those guys are d dead. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, so being a bit of a pain to say last. Actually, I reckon we can destroy this Katyusha if we get close enough. It's got 170 range, but this thing's got 160, so... Provided that we can get just close enough... Hopefully without running into anything. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Just see what happens. What the hell? A soldier, apparently? Ah, oh, okay then. Speaking of which... Yeah, two shots, we better reload it. <coughs> Should better refuel this thing as well. It's starting to run out of fuel. Got 
some uh, Russian aggression here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Down they go. Anyways, let's see if we can... She's like, oh no, of course that's not how it works. Okay, we'll have to get these drums back. And pretty sure you'll have to get to one go over here to refuel. What the hell? Oh, the engine's on fire. Really? Oh well. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's full of fuel, so... Whoops. Damn it. What the hell did... Oh, I left it there, of course. Okay, so now if we click on this yet, we should be able to um, refuel it. I think. I think that's what he's doing. Yep, that's what he's doing, alright. Yeah, I might just refuel a little bit more, actually. So the thing... Oh, it's got no fuel, actually. <laughs> Oh, then that's kind of funny. I just oh, actually we can still refuel it. So, oh, okay, I must have gotten fuel from one of those other drums, maybe. Oh, well, anyway, put put this one back in or barrels in it. Whoops, on it, and we might just see if we can rush this. Um, oh, it says this too instead. Anyway, we might just see if we can rush this. Um, Damn it. This point, but apparently not. So just send this guy back, just in case. Yeah, screw up. Yeah, we'll send one guy here. Yeah, yeah we'll just send one guy forward here, too. So. Oh, I managed to get a few guys that grenade, actually. Down they go. And I'm pretty sure there's one more left, so hopefully we can. Oh, maybe. Of course. Oh, there we go, managed to get him anyway. Just send this one forward now. Now, what the hell? Send this um, Hato forward as well. Looks like it's uh, relatively safe. Wow, I must say that the battlefield just looks completely destroyed, really, all over. <laughs> hey, gotta love the level of. Um, detail in this game. Yeah, let's see if we can use the older uh, heart on this rather bothersome order. Boom. Waterway. <laughs> so let's see. No, oh, I managed to kill there's this thirty I think. What was it already dead? It doesn't so sharp as a kill there. But of course then water's still up, which is kinda of funny. Just point out the KV-85. Yeah, I might just send this back to it. Perfect. I got a little space marine there. There we have it. Unfortunately, his resolve was just not... That's great, so down he goes. <coughs> Actually, I suppose we could try targeting this uh, KV-85 instead. Oh, there we go. I'll just get a little bit closer. Looks to be in a bit of a state. Oh, it's actually been hull destroyed. Never mind. <coughs> so, yeah, two minutes left. I'd say we got a pretty good chance of winning this game. And that rocket man was pretty close to killing one of our tanks, actually. Oh, what do we have here? A uh, T 3457. And it's in range. Perfect. Although we better send this guy back there. Damn it, we managed to detrack it, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just move up uh, the infantry guys a bit. Ah, there goes this turret. So detract, and this turret's dead, so. Yep, it's pretty much dead in the water. Hull crushed, yep. <coughs> That's very nice indeed. Oh wait a minute, there's a guy here. We've got a uh, little space marine here. 
<coughs> and down he goes. So we've got some pretty good uh, infantry defense back here, actually. Now, that might just see if we can go for this mortar again. Nice, perfect. Oh, same place again, really. Oops, nothing. It's just a, a bit of a smart ass for that comment. Trying that guy too, seeing as I'm being a bit uh, aggressive with that mortar. Although they're not really going to be able to do much to that tank though. <coughs> so we should be able to get one more shot on this mortar before uh, time runs out. So hopefully this will be the. Oh, actually, we've got a, an SU-122, I think, and it's advancing. Or no, it's an SU-85 actually. That's also a car up there. Here we go. 18 seconds, come on, and... More throw air? What will it do though? That's the question. Where? <laughs> and there you go, I think I actually managed to get rid of the mortar to at least decrew it, so... There you go, and SU-85 is uh, no more. So, yeah, good game to my, our opponents. This has been uh, Damien Dvidovich signing off.